Today I received my expanded clay rocks over here. As you can see, um, that's what they look like. They kind of look like cat turds when they're wet. Anyway, so what I have to do now is wash these. You can see when they're dry, they have a, they have some kind of residue on them, just powder. So I just turn my water on for my shower. I'm actually very glad I made this uh, wet bath, and I just rinse them. Or reorganize them, get all that dust off because you don't want that dust clouding up your fish tank. Eventually it will probably settle out, but why not remove it? So I got these uh, through Home Depot, they only sell it online. Came out uh, after they shipped it to me came out to about $40 a bag. And this stuff's made in Georgia. Uh, hydrogen is made in Germany, which shipping it all the way across sea, seas when you know you can get something in America that's at equal quality, as well as uh, gives Americans jobs. And also saves on all that fuel bringing the stuff overseas. So yeah, I'm just going to rinse and repeat over and over again until I fill up my grow bed. All the media is now in the grow bed and as you can see the system is running. It's actually running nice and quietly which makes me very happy. I guess I underestimated how much media would go in the grow bed. We did 100 liters. Uh, we probably needed more like 113 liters, but that's okay. If I really need to, I can just add some gravel on the bottom at some point. But it's nice and quiet, which is the most important thing, because that's my hallway right here. Which you can see is the stairwell. So, I don't want people walking by and saying, oh my god, something's flooding in there. So, we are nice and quiet. Even the siphon is pretty quiet. The loop siphon is pretty quiet. Let's take a look at that. So as you can see, the siphon is just starting there. It only takes a few seconds for it to get going fully. And here it comes. All right, so the siphon is going fully. As you can see, my tank has uh, gone down by about a third, and I think that should be okay for the fish. Shouldn't stress them out too much. That's it. Our media's in here. 
and now we're ready to take the next step, which is um, dealing with this stuff. The water, we need to get some nutrients in there so we can grow some plants. So the next series of videos is going to be about what we call cycling the system. And that is building up the bacteria of colony in your grow bed and fish tank so that you're having the nutrients be produced by those bacteria. And then the plants can grow. So that's it for this time around. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for updates on cycling.